Welcome back, my friends, here on Will Edutech. And this is another edition in our CSEC math exam pass paper questions and solutions. Uh, this question was taken from the January 2012 paper. It's question one, part B. And here the question states, a typist is paid a basic wage of $22.50 per hour for a 40 hours 40 hour work week. Part one, they're asking us to calculate the typist basic weekly wage. That's an easy one, Mark. Now, this question didn't have any pictures in it, but you know, just to get the lesson a bit more appealing, I thought I thought I would just insert a picture for you guys because lately, you know, the comments uh, and the reviews persons inboxing us with notes and they are they have been telling us how how uh, what a great job we have been doing in their lives and getting them ready for the exam and how well the videos has been helping them yeah so you know I just thought you know to you know to make the lesson a bit more interesting I would give you a picture for this lesson now you can always rate my typist uh, let me know what you think of her okay in your comments or you know liking the video so let's get into it quickly um, I'm going to give my typist a name. Her name is Miss Leng. Let me just get my pencil and just make a note of that quickly. Let me just make a note. Her name is Miss Leng. So Miss Leng is hard at work. Okay. Now we are asked to calculate uh, Miss Leng's right or the typist basic weekly wage. Now that's an easy one, Mark. Now if she works. $22.50 per hour okay so for each hour so every one hour she works okay $22.50 now let me put my dollar sign now this simply saying that if every one hour she works $22.50 and she works a total of 40 hours for the week then basically this is 40 sets of $22.50. Hope that makes sense for you guys. Okay, so to calculate her basic weekly wage, we can say her basic, basic weekly wage, weekly wage must be equal to since one hour has twenty two dollars and fifty cents then if i if i need forty sets off because the word off means to multiply i need forty sets of twenty two off means to multiply twenty two dollars and fifty cents so her basic weekly wage would be nine hundred dollars okay let me put my dollar sign correct units so miss Leng works or the typist rather works a basic weekly wage of nine hundred dollars okay and here in Jamaica that's not a much that, that's not a lot of money okay guys now quickly let's get into part two here they're saying overtime is paid let me get my pointer Overtime is paid at one and a half times the basic hourly rate. Part and part two now they're saying calculate the other way calculate sorry the overtime wage for one hour of overtime work and that's one mark. Now quickly again let's 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 just look at that. Sorry about that. Now, my friends, if we're asked to calculate overtime wage for one hour, and I'm just going to do for short over OT for overtime, just, just for short, overtime wage, overtime wage for one hour, uh, for an hour, okay, for one or just for short. So overtime wage for one hour for short. If you notice here what they said, overtime is paid at one and a half one and a half and times times means to multiply the basic hourly rate and we know the basic hourly rate they gave the basic hourly rate up here in part one which is twenty two dollars and fifty cents which i've circled a while ago okay so if overtime rate is paid at one and a half let's put it down one and a half times the times times yes the basic hourly rate which is twenty two dollars and fifty cents now we know one and a half we could always convert that to this mixed number to an improper fraction by saying two ones two plus one will give me three so i will have a three upon two times twenty 
$2.50. And this is equal to really uh, $33.75. And you could always um, type it in in your calculator. 3 divided by 2 times 22.50. And you will get you will get a $33.75. Okay? 75 cents and that's our answer and and it's it's pretty much that easy guys now stay tuned in the next video we'll be finishing up this question where we'll be looking at parts three and parts four okay bye bye